Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. As you can see, who is the topic of discussion for today is... Sonya Richards Ross. And even Drew made some points that every time somebody comes from Sonya, her mother or Ross or somebody have to be jumping in the conversation to defend her like she can't talk for herself. I'm like, well, okay, Drew. I can concur with you on that. Because she so look like her family has to take up for her. And that's crazy as hell. I'm like, did they not give her the rule book? Because that man right now, he ain't good, y'all. He didn't make a first thing. He didn't make a lasting impression on me when he felt he needed to get up from the table, get Kenya straight, knowing Kenya didn't have no man right next to her. Or technically, I ain't saying they sh really should have, but then I am saying it. Todd, Ralph, should have got that ego straightened out. When he jumped up there talking, don't fuck with my wife. Being taught. And Ralph should have said, we don't fuck with Kenya. Better yet, let's leave them. Before we get into an altercation. About going off on a woman. And that's how they should have handled it. But just met my viewpoint. Other people may not like it. But it is what it is. I don't understand why black men don't take up for black women. I just don't understand that. And let's stay with them. But. Sonya believed in herself. She knew she could do it. And she went and became a track star. So she's smelling her tulips at this time. Y'all would have wanted roses. But I love tulips. But. I don't see how she could really. Agree. With the way. Her husband. Talked to Kenya that night. And it pretty much gave me the opinion that he talks to Sonya that way. It's just my point of view and what I'm seeing that they're giving me. That's why he's so adamant about, oh, I'm another child. You the weaker vessel. You're supposed to do everything I tell you to do and like it. That's the, what I was getting. And I would rip that Nefertiti chain off of his chest. Because she was a black royal figure. He can't even treat black women correctly. You know? I'm like, the sweeter fruiter side was coming out on him. I guess he been taking too much estrogen. And some foods, I guess. Because that was not even called for. But it's funny that we are still talking about that. So that means, that rubbed a lot of people's spirit. That rubbed a lot of people's uh, sensibility. Uh, or had the question, what kind of man is Ross? Mm-hmm. Aaron Ross, they call him. But we got Wanda Giddings. And she's going to tell us what's going on. Or sh what she felt she saw in the picture. But a lot of fans. And she wrote, Samuel Richards Ross' husband criticized by fans for the way he spoke to Kenya Moore. And he'll probably always, even at the reunion, they may take his behind up. But, you know, he's going to do the political thing. Because I'm sure he's read the blogs. He's read in the news, entertainment news, what was said, how people view him, and how they don't care for him. Mm -hmm. So he might apologize to her with some sincerity, I guess. He might be just be doing it for the film. You know, just doing it for the gram, just doing it for the YouTube, just doing it for Facebook and you, uh, Twitter. But when a person shows you who they are, and they don't apologize for whatever offended you right then and there, that person ain't worth shit. 
And you better watch him. Okay? That's why he's driving people around instead of people driving him around. You see what I'm saying? Do you see what I am saying? All right. But we got this uh, article she wrote up. It, it's going into being the article she wrote up for her company, Shadow and Act. The Real Housewives of Atlanta fans are upset at Samuel Richards Ross' husband for the way he spoke to Kenya Moore. The moment, the Kenya, the everything. Okay. Team twirl. Twirling, twirling, tan up shit. But what's going to make her really go after your wife, Ross? And you can't do a damn thing about it except for tell Sonya to get off the show. She already done decapitated your wife. Now what's left is for her to bury her. Okay? But Kenya says she still sees a soft spot where she likes her. But too many more times. It ain't going to be really not another time he's going to be going off on Kenya. Because I'm pretty sure he was talked to by producers on the way it came across. Him jumping up from the table like he's going to do something. Okay? Okay? But we got when the cast of when the cast went to Jamaica, they got more than just fun in the sun and beef patties. They were heated arguments and a lot of confrontation among the ladies. During an exchange between Sam Richard Strauss and Kenya Moore, the Olympic com uh, champion's husband Ross, okay, Aaron Ross is what they call him, interjected. But fans don't appreciate the manner in which he spoke to Moore. Okay, like, mm, did your mama raise you that way? Did your mama raise you that way? I don't know. Could have. <laughs> All right. But anyway, going back to the article, they titled it. Evidently, they giving us summaries in each part of the episode we had viewed last week. Ross curses at Kenya Moore. All right. Which he did. Fuck is a cuss word, whether you know it or not. Moore expressed her disappointment with Richard Ross when she felt the track star didn't check in with her and Sheree Whitfield when they missed an excursion. The former NFL star didn't like the drama. I don't rock like that. Don't fuck with my wife, he told Moore. Well, Ross, we don't care what you rock like. You could be rocking an Easter basket with a stroller going down the street and we wouldn't give a fuck. Okay? And right now, you don't pretty much fucked up your wife's chances of staying on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You see what I'm saying? Because she's a newbie. If she don't get the fan base of people circling around her, what you think gonna happen? And I'm pretty sure you need the money. You need her working or she wouldn't be working, period. Okay? <sighs> don't mess up your bag, Ross. Don't mess up your bag. And then it could have came to a situation you could use this platform to help you do other ventures. Great advertisement. Use the platform, it's there. But yeah, you chose to cuss out one of the cast members. Because you know if Kenya had a man that was riding for her and he was in, in presence, he would have took up for Kenya and threatened you probably to get you together on the outside. It would just been one of them kind of things. But like I said, we don't have classy men like Greg Leakes. Because Greg Leakes would have stood up. I'm thinking more than likely and told young man to sit his ass down. That was totally disrespectful of what he did. He may be feeling a little vulnerable. He may be feeling like he need to make make an opinion on what was going on. But it was pure women there. Let women handle women's stuff. Because if Kenya would have slapped uh, Sanya, Sanya would have been like, okay, I'm finna get her. And let them scrap, scrap it out. Scrap it out. But that wouldn't happen. Because Kenya already had somebody named, named Lee by the name of Portia Williams that Portia dragged her hair and her along with that on the floor. However, that's neither here nor there. Portia began to still stay on the show because I have a video in my archives if anybody's willing to go. I don't know what it was titled, but it might have been titled The Do's and Don'ts for Working for Bravo. All right. Or something to that, that affair. And it tells all what they can do, all what they can't do. And Nene Leakes, uh, what do you call it? Her case is prime example on what you can and cannot do. Okay? They had to go through arbitration. Pretty sure she got a nice check. And they have moved on. Now, whether Nene 
will still get work we don't know that's determined by higher ups out of our pay grade we don't know but going back to the article it says um Moore expressed her disappointment with Richard Schwartz when she felt the track star didn't check in on her and Sheree. Okay, we went through that. Um, we went through that. She felt Ross was aggressive in his tone. Fans are upset with him for yelling. Okay, we y'all were. Well, we didn't want to sit down at no peaceful table unless the women were going to be arguing. We still would have been feeding our face, okay? Putting our food in our mouths, swallowing it, and Kiki and chuckling it up as we watch those two go and back go back and forth with one another. But what we really didn't appreciate is a man with testosterone saying anything about a woman, over a woman, and to a woman. All right? But fans, that's us. We're upset with him for yelling. Fans says Aaron overstepped his boundaries. Aaron Ross sat down or Aaron Ross sit down and stay out of women's fight fights. I hate when men get involved with women's arguments. Your woman can handle herself. Uh, one wrote. That was just a person that was chiming in. We have another one who said, Ross needs to back down. No woman needs a man help to have a disagreement with another woman. No one got in Sanya's face or through anything. Ain't that the true girl? That was somebody that said that. And if they did do it, Ross can't do nothing about it. Let production. Because if he would have touched Kenya... That would have been an assault charge, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, another fan chimed in and said, come on, my phone is buffering. Um, Dear Aaron Ross, in the endearing words of Lanethia Monique Leakes, stay out of women's business, okay? Thank you and good night. So poetic, wasn't it? So poetic. Um, then we have some more people. That were chiming in. And one of them said, Can you wish she had a man? Mm-hmm. He protected his wife. I don't care if it was another woman. That was, uh, 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 what do you call it? A fan tweeted that out. Uh, he should have defended his wife. So if he has some people standing up for them, for him doing what he did. But in the big scheme of things, we all know he was wrong, period, and point blank. But, um, yeah, that's all I have for this particular video, guys. Like it, love it. Tell me down in the comment section. Because I'm still saying Ralph was foul. He was foul. He was foul. And to me, he may be a, a little jealous of the platform that his wife is on. And he's trying to up, muck it up for her, in a sense. Because if he didn't know what Real Housewives was like... When they go take these trips out the country or whatever, he should have got a preview of the seasons, past seasons, like 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, okay, those seasons. And you can see every time these girls go on a trip or they go out amongst themselves, drama will be right behind them. Mm-hmm. That's what they get paid for. Provide a little drama. Don't nobody want to see no kumbaya time all the time on the show. Or they'll sign up for something else. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Hope you all like it. Love it down. Uh, get down in those comments at the bottom. And let me know what y'all felt about Ross. Aaron is what they call him. Uh, and she said, I am the clout. No, you're the clout chaser. Okay, we had four high hopes for you when you first got on the show. But now... You have to go hide your tail between your legs and go sit in the corner somewhere because can you whoop that ass? Okay, and she's still on that ass. And we will probably see her really on your ass reunion time. But that's neither here nor there. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.